November 2016, and we're in Cocoa Beach, Florida. Our RV park is in view of Cape Canaveral, and we just got a chance to watch our first rocket blast off in years. Looks great from here. We're also within walking distance to the beach. Really nice. Rob and Kathy also popped over to join us in a few of our adventures. Ah, the perks of retirement. We get to spend more time with family and friends. We spent two weeks on the Gulf Coast, but now we're on the Atlantic Coast. And man, is it nice just watching and listening to the waves come in. And since Orlando is just an hour down the road, we decided that this year we're going to hit some of the major theme parks in the Orlando area. First stop, SeaWorld. SeaWorld has lots of shows with whales and dolphins and sea lions and man they were really entertaining. A lot of fun to watch. I could go back and watch them again. And who would have thought just sitting there watching dolphins swim around could be just so relaxing. I don't know how long we sat there and watched these guys swim, but man, oh man, it was just... <sighs> Fortunately, we had some real nice weather for our SeaWorld trip. Don't forget, we are in late November by this time. SeaWorld also has lots of aquariums with different fish and sharks and mantas swimming around. You can come back time after time and spot something different every single time. Just such a huge variety. And you want to laugh for a while and just feel good? Go watch the penguins. These guys are just so much fun to watch. And then there's the seals. All these guys do is play. I swear, it looks like that's all they're doing. Just playing. Talk about the good life. And after all that excitement, it was nice just to watch the mantatee slow and steady swim. Our next stop was Universal Studio. And the weather there wasn't nearly as nice as SeaWorld. I mean, we are in December by this point. Now don't get me wrong, there's a lot of really cool things to see at Universal Studios. But oh man, the crowds, they were ridiculous. And this is December when the crowds are supposed to be at their thinnest. And Universal Studios had some great rides. But man, you had to make reservations for those rides two or three days ahead of time. And if you didn't, you were going to spend two or three hours in line. And that's not a great way to spend time at Universal. And Epcot Center and Disneyland also both had great things to see. But again, too crowded and you really can't enjoy the park with that many people. Our next stop was exploring St. Augustine, Florida with Rob and Kathy. We had fun exploring Old Town and visiting the wineries and distilleries. Probably the best time we had while we were there. 
All in all, Cocoa Beach was a great stop and I'm sure we're going to come back here again. So it's time to say goodbye to Cocoa Beach and make our way up the road to our next adventure. <laughs>